of Series 5 of Master League Story Mode. Ooh, and what's that? Listen, listen very carefully. Can you? Can you hear that? That's that's the sound of my squeaky bum. Yep, yeah, probably probably a bit too much information, but yeah, squeaky bum time is very much upon us. We have Brighton, we have Palace, and we have Everton left. We're only going to play the two today, and unfortunately I wish I could do a live stream for the last one, but I just don't have the time to do it. And I would want to do it the justice of having, you know, not just springing it on people, and I just can't. Can't do it, I don't have the time, I'm too busy for the next couple of weeks. It's just going to be played out as normal. Maybe I can start the season with a live stream. We'll do one soon, I promise you that. We just hit 500 episodes, we're hitting the end of the season. Should have done it, should have thought about this a bit more. But anyway, we'll do one soon, I can promise you that. But for now, well, we go up against Brighton. They've had a good season. They've got banana skin written all over them, as a few of you have commented, which I think has probably just made it worse. And then Palace. And as we know, things are particularly squeaky, as we suddenly found ourselves within touching distance of a Champions League spot. Yes, there are three games left, but Liverpool have a tough game. I can't remember what it is, but their next game is a difficult one. And I think Arsenal might even have one difficult game left. Everton, obviously, are going to be a big test for us. They've not had a great season, but Brighton have been good. Yes, they've slipped 20 points below us, but at one point we were battling it out with them for ninth uh, before the run of all runs. But they could certainly slip us up here, and, uh, well, it's a long, long trip down to the south coast. I don't think there's much else to do now than just get into it. I'm already getting a little bit of hand sweat. That is not good. Oh, and that's a bit of a blow. Gomez on a downward arrow, so Lucasen will go back there. Question is, do we play Martinez at DMF, or do we bring old Frankie back? Play the Weg Horse? I guess we can do that. Weg Horse doesn't let us down very often. Make that slight change there. Slight change there. Yep, that'll do. It's an attacking, a very attacking side now with that change. Uh, but Lucasen at centre-back is, is quite reliable. But Brighton have been difficult. Yes, I definitely remember them being a hard team to play against. Calvert-Lewin is a pest. He's strong, he's quick, scores goals, as he should. So, yeah, we've got to stay positive. We're on this incredible run. We've been on this run for a reason. Uh, should we play Patterson to start with on a blue? Yeah, we'll bring in the Scotsman. Right, let's do this. So I think I've probably said this already, but it's difficult to know what I would consider to be a good end to the season for Leeds United. What would be success now? You know, if we just scraped above ninth spot and we were sitting confidently there, then we would have achieved what we thought we were going to achieve this season with the start that we have. Obviously, we've had this incredible winning run. I don't know how many games it's been. 14 games, maybe. We just need to keep it going for another three, and then this season could suddenly be a historic one. Right, come on. Oh, mistake from Lucasen there. Doesn't get it clear. Now Calvert-Lewin. That's a good ball into Shalotto. Bernardo can't deal with it. Cobos does, though, just about. Didn't make that look particularly confident. Oh, but we've not cleared it. Izquierdo now through. Oh, my God. Get there. Get there. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. We look to have that under control. Somehow that is a goal kick. I thought we had that under control, but then it almost went very, very wrong. Right, come on. Let's keep our heads... De Jong doing his defensive duties there really well. Now Lucasen into Callum. Not seen much from him today. Could we get an unexpected goal late in the season from him? It will be his first. The Weg Horse takes it under. Oh, lovely footwork. Can he find Maxi Romero? No, he can't. Oh, God. Brunetta now. Looks to put it into the horse. He'll turn away from his man. Weg Horse with the effort. First proper chance of the game there. And it's Brunetta. Well, he saw the avenue to pass through into the horse and he's great on the half turn he's got the power to get his body ahead of the defender gets the shot off it's the first proper chance of the game though almost half an hour gone it's been tight oh brunetta lovely touch whips one in the horse is there with the header oh so close so close again the horse putting them under all sorts of pressure it will be a throw here to brighton into proper kobos with another touch Still not cleared here, though. Proper. This is dangerous. Calvert-Lewin on the turn. Oh, Butland called into action for the first time. So difficult to defend there. Didn't know which way he was going to go. He went onto his right foot, and it was a great effort there for Calvert-Lewin, who has been the pest we expected him to be. Nice little swivel there to get away from Lucasen. Butland, though, equal to that one. Short corner here. That's clever. Oh, was it a shot? Was it a cross there? 
from Solly March. Butlin didn't look particularly confident about where that was going. Can we shot Brighton though? With a late goal. It's going to be Brunetta to whip it in. Lookman's going to jump for this one. Out to Romero. Get away from Dunk. To the line here. Flicks it up. Looking for the horse. Lookman. Difficult effort. Very difficult effort. And the left foot shot is wide. And there we are, half time. I've just realised we're at Ellen Road. I don't know why I thought we were going to Brighton. It's fine. We're at home. And we're struggling. We are struggling. I mean, they've not created much. They've not had much possession. Actually, I suppose Wakehorse did have a couple of big chances. But I can very much see this one going to a draw. Or Calvert-Lewin nicking a goal on the breakaway. We really need to concentrate here. That's Cern. Uh, can't quite get the challenge in on Bong, but he does it the second time of asking. Finds Romero now, and he'll play it back into the Scotsman. Flowing counter-attacking football here from Leeds. Juan Brunetta, he's got the horse ahead of him. Flicks it over the... Ah! That ball would have worked in any game we've had recently. Just couldn't pull it off there. Ball into the box, looking for Calvert-Lewin. Great first touch. Well dealt with, though, by Lukasen. What is that? What is that pass? No! Oof, fucking hell. De Jong now. A little bit of space to work with. Puts a ball up, looking for Romero. He flicks it on, and he'll find Cliver. The Dutchman can keep it in. It's got Weghorst inside. Ball in. Romero at the near post. The flicked header. It's dealt with. Shalotto heads it back into the box. They get away with it. But Brunetta can't get away from Bissouma. They are defending resolutely here. I can see our Champions League spot slipping away with every blocked shot. Oh, Patterson does really well there. That's a good ball out into Lutman as well. Oh, what is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's happening. It's happening. It's happened. It's fucking happened. No! Oh, it was just so fucking predictable. They've just been... We've just been completely unable to break them down. We've made so many mistakes. Just knew it was going to happen. Just knew it. What the fuck are you doing there, Kobos? Oh, my God. Button couldn't get across. And there we are. That's our chances of European football pretty much over now. Brunetta, you've been awful today. And that is it. That is it. Talk about out with a fucking whimper. The run is over, but not just over, but we lose as well to Brighton. Oh, awful. Absolutely awful. We didn't manage a single shot on target in that second half. Romero, Brunetta, the players that we've come to expect so much of. Unfortunately, should be ashamed of themselves today. And there we are. I called it. I just could feel they weren't on it today. Some of the passing was insanely bad. I've never seen anything like it. Brunetta, Romero. I mean, they just didn't stand up and certainly weren't counted today. Ah, oh, dearie me. Well, can we hang on for Europa League? That's the question now. I mean, it had to come to an end. The run had to come to an end. But did it have to happen like that? And United now only two points away from us. I mean... Arsenal, Liverpool, oh, I, can't, I don't know what the score would have been there. Was it? I think it might have been Arsenal-Liverpool who played each other. But yeah, sixth spot, certainly not assured here. Can we get two wins out of two from the last two games, or will our confidence be so ruined now after that performance? Look, it had to come to an end. Of course the winning streak was not going to last forever. <laughs> At some point we were going to lose. Did it have to happen so harshly, though, so starkly? And look at that, just to rub salt in the wound. They've offered us the managerial position. That's pure banter. Uh, Scout's got something for us. We've got a mission. What's the mission going to be? I right, wanted us to get 15 consecutive wins. <sighs> was that what we were going for? I was really hoping to stretch that winning streak to 15. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it was a fine run of form. Nice work. Well, good to get some positive words. Maybe that was it. Just the, you know, the game would not allow 15 wins. It really didn't feel like it was going to allow it today. Oh, look at that. Timo Werner up top and Neres. <laughs> Those would be... Oh, and Sessegnon as well. Oh, we've got to get Sessegnon at left back. He's probably not the best left back in the world, but he's 21 years old. He's got pace to burn. He can step inside and do a job in the position we want him to. Absolutely got to make him a Leeds player next season. There's no doubt about that. We've got to be confident about this as well. We've got to make a big bid. We've got to get this to happen. Who can we say goodbye to? None of those guys, really. No, don't want to lose any of them. Well, we're just going to have to put in a, a big bid, yeah? 9.8 million. We'll get 85% chance of signing just to get him interested, get him on the hook. And then eventually we might try and take that down. Um, we'll give him all the bonuses he could ever dream of. 
1.7 mil salary for three years. Lovely stuff. He would be an excellent signing. Embarrassment of riches to choose from here. Mayer would be excellent. Romagnoli at centre-back. He wouldn't be bad either. Do we have an 85 rated player? I think Bernardo might be 85 rated now. Or Clivert might be. I mean, he is slow, but he's an absolute beast of a man. Not that excited by him. Neres, though, and Werner. <sighs> We'd love to have Timo Werner on board, wouldn't we? Oh, my word. Incredible goal poacher. Oh, exciting. I don't know if we've got an 86 rated player. We cannot, we certainly cannot leave this guy and not put a bid in for him and not at least line this one up. Who knows how much money we're going to get next season? We've absolutely no idea. Last year, we got nothing. Not a single penny. This year, especially if we finish in the Europa League spot, especially if we finish above where we were expected to finish, you would hope we'd get something. So, we've got to plan as if we are going to get something. The least we can possibly do for is 2.5 here. A 21 mil release fee. We'll give that a go. And then Neres. War. Cliver and Neres on either wing. The Ajax boys back together. I mean, he is excellent. But, I don't, again, not that much of an upgrade on Lutman. And Lutman has become an important part of this team this season. As has Cliver. But, yeah, Werner and Sessegnon. Oh, that'll be exciting. Let's get that out of our head now. We need to concentrate. We need to get another win here. Look, we're going with this formation. This works best. I don't know what was wrong before, but it just certainly didn't work. So, Bernardo's 85. So, he might get to 86. So, he could sign Werner maybe by the end of the window. He's our best chance. Really, though, it's left and right backs that we want. We need another right back, don't we? That's the key position we need to strengthen. Uh, Lookman. Mm, give Correa what could be his last start. No, we'll stick with the, the team that we know does well. Palace, certainly going to be a difficult test. They've got strong players everywhere, really. McCauley at the right back position. Maybe their weak link. We need to get the ball to Cliver, try and push him down that wing. But Zaha and Benteke up top. It's going to be a real test. So what we really, really need to avoid here, really absolutely need to avoid here in London, is doing what Leeds United did in real life. Being incredible all season, but then letting it slip away in the dying embers of the season. Obviously for them it was the playoffs, but these two final games are our playoffs. We win both of them, then we will finish in a European spot, which was unimaginable at the beginning of the season. But this side has been incredible. I'm so proud of them. Let's just do ourselves proud. Two more times, that's it. Come on, Leeds. Oh, very, very fortunate there. Now Zaha through on goal. Butland, great foot in. Strong foot, but it's not cleared. Townsend, out to McCauley. Oh, Kobos does really well. Wilkerson tidying things up in the midfield. That's where we want him. I think we missed him there in the last game. Clivert, ball into De Jong. Nice footwork, draws out Coate, into Maxi Romero, it's all got very tight here. Lucasen, powerful. De Jong, it's a great ball into Mendes, he'll ride the challenge here and he can find Lutman, that's a great ball. Adamola Lutman now, low ball in, can't find Brunetta, it was the wrong choice. Patient build up here from Palace. What are you doing Mendes? No, oh, it's a good ball into Benteke. Back to Schlupp, it's another good ball in, Zaha, lots of men around him, we can't quite get it back. This has got goal written all over it, Bernardo's header away is not a good one. Schlupp now into the box, oh, Bentec, fucking hell! Oh, it's all falling apart, I cannot believe this. Oh, we just couldn't get the ball away, sitting deep. Oh, Lukasen. That's not really very good there. Lutman into Romero. Finds De Jong. Ball over the top looking for Juan Brunetta. Oh, couldn't connect. It was a good ball. Just couldn't finish it off. Mendes, great tackle. And the Brazilian now will bring it away. It's a nice ball into Brunetta. Smart stuff here. Cliver, good take. Ah, Kobos will get to it though. Good battling with McCauley. And he's away from McCauley again. 
It's a ball in. Romero at the near post. Heads over. God, we've not had many chances in this game. That was one of the better ones. Zaha into Benteke. Oh, my God. Lucasen. Lookman now into De Jong. This is where we want him. Where's the run, Maxi? De Jong into Brunetta. Oh, lovely dummy. Brunetta's effort is wide, damn it. We're getting a little bit closer. We just seem to be disconnected at the moment. Nothing seems to be quite working. Oh, it's a great ball into Saha. Oh, Gomez. No, I can see that happening. No. <laughs> Saha puts it wide. Oh, we're falling apart here. Okay, what's inside to Romero now, Cliver. Let's return a pass there. Oh, Cliver nicks it away. Into Brunetta. Finds De Jong. One more ball into Lutman. Takes it under. Yes, good finish. We were talking about whether Lutman should be replaced, whether Neres or someone else should come in. But I think Lutman's performance is this season. Has at least allowed him one more season as our starting winger. It was an interesting first touch. It sort of bubbled up and actually it sat up very nicely. Put his laces through it. Could that give us the confidence we need to go on here? Smart play from De Jong. It's a lovely finish in the end. Come on, let's build. Oh, well one back there, Mendes. Now Lutman full of... Oh, what? what the fuck would you end it there? Bastards, right. One all, 45 minutes left. Let's salvage something from this season. We've been awful, we've had less possession. We've not created many chances. We've got it in us, we know we do. Come on, Maxi, come on, Juan. We need to see the magic from you that's got us to this point. Cliver, nice ball into De Jong. Oh, that's a clever ball into Mendes. Lutman... Into Romero, flips it back over. Oh, offside. Probably quite a long way offside. As it's very tight, but he is off. Oh, what a ball through to Benteke. Oh, we fucked it. Butland off his line. Oh, no, it's Benteke who is the fucker. Wow. It's just destroyed by one ball through there. Somehow found Benteke. Brunetta and Gomez couldn't decide whose job it was going to be. In the end, neither of them did. But Butland made himself big. When do we bring on the horse? That's the question. That is the final gamble. Oh, real danger here. McCauley played through. Oh, Gomez, that was risky as fuck. No, it's a pen. Is it a pen? It's a goal kick. Oh, he pointed at the spot there. Fucking hell. What are you doing there, Joe Gomez? Oh, I just lost a little bit of my life there. Benteke now. Palace still coming forward. They can see the win here. Zaha. Oh! Jesus Christ. I thought Mendes was going to get to that. Fell to Mayer. Good hit from him. Oh my God. We are making hard work of this. Oh, Zaha has played through. It's an excellent ball. Wilfred Zaha now. Kobos. Yes. Oh, another corner though. How long can we hold on to this? Oh, it's well worked here. Palace continue to come forward. Someone doesn't want us in Europe. Lukasen pushes him out. Lukasen can't win it back from Sobel. That's a good ball in. Oh, no! Townsend! Oh, it's wide. I think everyone thought that was in, including me. Oh, dearie, mate. Right, it's time for the horse. Let's bring on some horsepower. So, interesting decision here. It's Maxi Romero coming off. The horse coming on. And uh, Correa as well. Can he just give us one final bit of good play in this side? We've got 20 minutes left to get the winner here. Let's dig deep, lads. Now for Kundu Kobos. Could he have something left in the tank? No, but he's taken out. It's probably too far out for some Brunetta heroics. Juan's certainly going to have a go at this. You get the fuck out of the way, horsey boy. Could this be the time? Oh, Juan Brunetta, get out of the way, Weg Horse, for fuck's sake. Yes! Come on! Juan Believable. Juan more piece of genius. He's the Juan that we want. There's no other Juan like him. And that is, cometh the man, cometh the hour. He has been awful in these final two games. Well, final two of three games. But look at that, Hennessy. Didn't even, didn't even look where the ball was going there. I mean, it wasn't even that far out. It was a good free kick, not the best. Can we hang on to this? Well, on the evidence of the last half an hour, it's very unlikely because Palace look like they've got at least two goals in them. Oh, that's a mistake. And now Lutman. 
Oh, somehow it's fallen here to Lutman. And another free kick here. Lutman wins this one. And can Juan Brunetta do it again? Long range sniper. That's probably too much. Over the wall. Oh, yes! <laughs> Set piece demon. And Crystal Palace have been sniped. We did not deserve this win. We absolutely did not deserve it. But we've won two dangerous free kicks. And then a man who has been in incredibly poor form for the last hour and a half of his footballing career at Leeds. Well, he's just found some wizardry in that left boot. And that could be the goal that sets it up on the final day for European spots to be in our hands. That's what we wanted. Oh, Lutman's won that back really well. It's a ball over looking for Brunetta. Oh, lovely one too. Ball across, looking for the horse to finish it off here. <laughs> so close, but I think this is just about done, this one. Well, I can't believe it. We've done it here at Selhurst Park. And that was a daylight robbery of the highest order. Uh, that was De Jong falling to his knees there. I don't know if he knows something about the scores that means that we're definitely not in the Champions League. But we have no right to win that. I'm sure the stats will say... That was a smash and grab of the highest order. Okay, we created chances in the end, but actually Palace was so good. Kept possession really well, kept us out. But then two moments of magic from Juan Brunetta. We said at the beginning of the game we needed him or Maxi to stand up and be counted. And they very nearly didn't. Actually, Maxi Romero, for maybe the first time this season, was substituted for the end of the game with plenty of health left as well. But it was that man, Juan Brunetta. We've doubted him so many times. We've said he's not good enough at this level, but so many times he's proved us wrong. And United drawing as well. That could seal it. That could well seal it. I can't remember the maths. Arsenal do win. Liverpool win as well. So no Champions League unless something dramatic happens on the last day. But what we do know now is guaranteed Europa League football next season leads United back in Europe after many, many years away from those sort of competitions, which Leeds have got a pretty good history in. So got to be proud of that really unlucky that we couldn't just push it a little bit further and win against Brighton and we'd be there we'd be fourth ah oh, well look we've been an incredible run we've got to respect that we've got to enjoy that not think about what we haven't got think about what we have got it's the positive mental attitude that we need and Bernardo's dramatic improvement during that run has been absolutely key and Lutman now the profit it was a good goal to start us off today Brunetta, well, he was the holy one today. He was the one with the divine intervention. Not once, but twice. Correa can absolutely fuck off. Oh, Peacock Farrell's off. Um, and there we go. Scout's got something for us. Salary budget looking a little weak. We've got one game left. European spots guaranteed. Arsenal up against Newcastle. Unlikely they're going to slip up. Liverpool against Southampton at home. One of them could slip up. We could be Everton and we could be there, but it's not in our hands, which is a shame. Um, what other treats has the scout got for us? Oh, look at that, Calvert-Lewin. That is tempting. He has, I mean, I love it when teams buy players that have been good against them. I always enjoy that. I mean, he's quick, he's good in the air. He's like a weg horse that can run. Uh, he's as t not quite as tall, but he's very strong. I mean, look at that, actually. Physical contact, 88. Speed, 88. That is cheat codes. How much do we reckon we get him at an absolute snip? Definitely got to consider that in the next episode. And we can't find a left back. Hmm. Interesting. We can change our scouting location next season. There we have it. Well, 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 well. One game left. Everton away. What can we pull off there? And then we'll do a bit of the transfer window. And then into the new season. Into European football. That will start very quickly. And can we keep improving? That's the thing. Can we improve this side enough to really push ourselves to the top level? I mean, we've been at a top level level of performance for the last 15 16 games can we keep that going for a whole season if we can then we can win the league which would be very exciting i'll see you in a bit